let me take these out. There is no way that I'm going to start telling your story with earphones in my ear. So you know what? Sometimes one of the hardest things to do is tell your story. But then what's even harder is having people tell your story. So as you journey with me um, in my new book, in my new series, Dear Diary, you will hear stories that will relate to things that you go through or you know somebody who has gone through or is going through, but ultimately stories that will resonate because pain is adhesive and we all go through it. But sometimes we just need a little bit of help of being able to navigate past it, right? And get to a point where we are not even just survivors, but that we have overcome. We've overcome those tragics and trying. I mean, we overcome those tragedies into triumph. Now, one of the things also in telling my story and getting on here to do this thing, people are going to be surprised at this, but um, I don't like to mess up. So I'm not going to be doing too much editing. I'm not going to be doing, you know, in the beginning or whatever. It's, it's, it really is. It's going to be raw and uncut. It's going to be my story. Now that touched me a little bit as well, because I'm thinking, who cares? Who wants to hear my story? Right? But then I sit back and I look at other people's stories and their documentaries and I look at things and I'm going, wow, I was inspired by that. I was encouraged by that. I was taught by that. I learned things by that. And so I understand also a biblical scripture that says that people are won over by the words of your testimony and by the blood of the lamb. We need people's stories, people who will be like me, who will be vulnerable and willing to share their stories. I mean, like I said, uncut, giving you the raw of it in order for you to really overcome whatever it is that you're going through that is similar, that you didn't think that you could get out of or whatever the case may be. Um, and it took me back to even when I, I wrote my book, A so um, Solid Screams, right? I was like, who cares that I was molested? Who cares about my abandonment? Who cares about that? Like we've got stories of so many other people who shared this same story. And we've even got stories of celebrities that talk about their incest molestation and sexual abuse and trauma. It's like, so who am I? And I said that again, who am I? And I realized I'm somebody. And just because I'm not a celebrity or household name, I'm still somebody with a story. And not only am I uh, somebody with a story, sometimes we don't want to hear from a celebrity. We want to hear from the person who lived next door to us, who used to live in our neighborhood, who used to go to our elementary school, who graduated with us, who went to college with us, who worked on our job, because the stories are more real. And so as we continue to go down this journey and you go with being introduced or allowed to read my diary, I pray that it helps you, it encourages you, it teaches you, it gives you everything you need to live an amazing life and a life of abundance. So tune in. Every Thursday will probably be a new one dropping, but you can always go back and get a replay or uh, as I share it out, you know, whenever you are able to listen and get the story. Um, I am becoming vulnerable so that you can become whole. Yep, that part. Dear Diary. Diary of an Impartation Strategist. Pretty Girl, Ugly Stories.